that I have with it potentially going to Saudi Arabia is this is not Amir Khan versus Billy Dib. This yeah. is not with all the greatest of respect to, I mean, to George Groves and Callum Smith. It's not the World Boxing Super Series final. It's the, the heavyweight championship of the world. This is yeah, the biggest the fight biggest of the year. Boxing. It's the biggest, biggest fight of the year. Yeah. And I think... Bigger than Yard Kovalev? <sighs> don't know. If, if, if both of them are on at the same time, I'm kidding you not, I'm watching Yard Kovalev. I can't lie to you. What, over... Joshua, Joshua Reed. Reed. I think I'm more intrigued by you. I, I don't know why. Yard Kovalev has got me hooked. Yeah, I am fully hooked, line and sinker. Tunde has convinced me. So he's convinced me that he's convinced me that Yard can stop him to the body. <laughs> he's convinced me. With that fight, I mean, we're going off off topic a little with that. <laughs> yeah. But with that fight, I mean, yeah, I have no idea no. how that fight's going to no, If yeah. I was a betting man, then I think Kovalev won round one. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't really, see, and this is not to say. That I don't think Anthony Yard can win because, of course, he can. It's a fight. It's, you know, people would have been saying the same thing about Andy Ruiz, Anthony Joshua. True. Um, but looking at the records and looking at how, how good Sergei Kovalev looked against Alejandro yeah. Alvarez for, yeah, for, for a drunk, for a drunk, for a drunk who was past his best, yeah. blah blah blah. You know, he lost. You know, he got chinned by Alvarez in the first fight, yeah. which can happen. Alvarez can punch, and Alvarez is no fool. He's been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. Um, but his other, other losses are against Andre Ward, who could fight a bit. Yeah. Like, not bad. Not yeah, bad. not bad. Yeah. Uh, so, and whereas I think Anthony Yard's best win still is Nicola Siaclocha. I think that's his best win. Who's a career <laughs> I'm laughing at the fact that you actually remembered how to but pronounce the name. It's true, though, yeah. right? Like, that's, that's his best win. And a career super middle. A career super middle where he's already been beaten by a lot of fighters. Mm -hmm. um, that's not to say again that Anthony that's not to say he can't, can't win. win. Yes, that's the thing. But we don't know how good he is because if it was if it was two horses having a race and you look to the form guys. I'm sorry, I know my money's all gone. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, they people ask me sometimes about Tundi. Is it an act? Is it blah blah? Is they, it? Is it? They yeah. believe that he's going to go there. And he's going to fucking knock Cobbler out. I just feel like he's playing possum to get as much money as possible, and he's sold it really well. But I, I just don't know if it's an act. I mean. I think if it was an act, I think something would have signaled Oscar it. nomination. Something would have happened along the line where you think, okay, yeah, he's fucking on a little bit here. Yeah. But I don't think it is. And I think they do genuinely believe it, as you should. I, was, uh, I was interviewed Charlie Edwards yesterday, or I interviewed Charlie and Sonia, I can't mm. remember which one said it. But they said, like, Tundi comes across as a bit delusional, but you need to be deluded in boxing. You need to really? think you're the best fighter in the world. You need to think that you're the baddest man on the planet because otherwise, what are you doing? I want my trainer to be like that to me. Yeah. I want my trainer to think you could take on anything. Do I want my trainer I want to, to say... be realistic. Do well. I want my trainer to say if, <laughs> if I win the world title that he deserves it just as much as me? Probably not. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm ultimately the one getting, getting, the, the, getting yeah. the punch. Yeah. But... Yeah, they believe they're going to win the fight. I mean, Sergio Kovalev isn't invincible. We've seen him knocked out within the last 12 months. Mm. Anthony Yard was at the first fight when he, he got was, knocked he out. Was. So they've obviously seen something. They were offered the Paterbio fight. They were offered the Kovalev fight. They turned it down. They didn't think he was ready. Now they've seen something where they, they believe he is they ready. They even turned down step-aside money. Yeah. Big money, yeah. supposedly. So they, they obviously feel they're going to win. Would, would I... Gun to my head, bet on Anthony Yard beating Sergio Kovalev? No, probably Dude, dude, I wouldn't bet on it spoon to my head. Uh, you're saying gun. I wouldn't bet on it with a plastic spoon <laughs> I, to I, my I, head. I, I have to safeguard myself in case yeah. he comes out yeah, with a yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, No, but, um, yeah, but, I mean, he's, Anthony Yard is obviously a, an athletic freak, and he, he obviously has talent, he can obviously punch. Um, you know, it is about that. It's funny you say that, athletic freak, because in my head I'm thinking of the athletic freaks that have come in recent times, Joshua, when you come up against a boxer, Hara Davis against a boxer, Chris Eubank Jr. against a boxer, all these athletic freaks that look great specimens with not much amateur background, so not an extensive. Mm. When they come up against boxers, they seem to, it's like, oh, I don't know what to do now. My athleticism that, that, can't that get That is me through the this. thing. I mean, you talk. We've um, completely segued away from Ruiz. Yeah, we'll get back fine. there in a minute. We'll there. I mean, it's, it's not the same because Roy Jones Jr. had a very extensive amateur yes. background but let's just use him as an example of somebody who was freakishly gifted freakishly you put him against my favourite fighter in James Tony. I yeah. think if you look from a technical point of view and, mm. and from who does the basics better favorite fighter, all time, yeah. my favourite okay, fighter James Tony. Um, James Tony is a more skilled boxer Agreed. than Roy Jones Jr mm. but Roy Jones Jr had freakish athleticism and he Ridiculous. could just Ridiculous. zip around the ring Ridiculous. James Tony can get near him so like there is there are scenarios where freakish athleticism mm. can and again not to say that Roy Jones Jr. only had freakish athleticism no, because he did it excellent went. amateur that that got, got robbed in the Olympics yeah. terribly robbed in the Olympics but um, 
But that's an example of if you've got that freakish athleticism, that can mask deficiencies within True. your technique or you know your lack of amateur experience. And that we could well see that. We mm. could well see that with Yard Kovalev. It's weird because even the guys I mentioned, apart from Ahara Davis, they've all got to world level. Mm. Well, so, exactly. so it's, it's got them there. It's, it's worked, it's worked to, to a degree. degree. Yeah. So we could well see that, but I mean, in Sergio Kovalev, you, you're talking about one of the best light heavyweights of the last ten years, easily, easy, easy. easily Machine. one of the best light heavyweights Machine. of the last ten years. Beat Andre Ward in the first fight. The, that first, and and he didn't beat him by being this brutal puncher. No, he beat him by just he being a boxer. Outboxed him. That's the he thing. He outboxed yeah. Andre Ward, and whether you, whether you like to, you know, Andre, you put them side by side, and you you would think of Ward as the technician and yeah. Kovalev as the puncher. Yeah. But, he controlled the distance on Ward in that fight. That ramrod jab. Yes, he slowed down. Yes, Ward was able to claw some rounds back at the end. Mm. Whether or not you thought he won the fight or not is is, is immaterial. But Kovalev can really box. Yeah. And he can really box. And in the rematch against Elena Alvarez, he showed he can really box. Yep. Um, I know we have like, instances over the years where you have like fighters from, let's say, less privileged backgrounds. Um, I mean, Elena Alvarez in this example winning titles and maybe not being as hungry for the return match. Very true. No, is that course. potentially what had happened? I don't know. But um, you can only judge Kovalev on his last fight and yeah. there didn't seem to be much... To completely outbox a guy that stopped you before. Yeah, and this massive. is the thing. You know, like, massive. We're talking about Joshua Ruiz and, and generally speaking in boxing, if, if there is such a conclusive outcome in the first fight as there was in Ruiz, Joshua won. As there was in Kovalev, Alvarez won. Mm. Generally speaking, the rematches go the same. Yeah. But Kovalev's was an example of it not going. Very true. That's yeah. a good example. I mean, yeah. you've got Buddy McGirt who's come and joined, and Buddy McGirt. I think I remember he said before the fight, he said that if Kovalev all he has to use is his jab, his jab is that good. That's, that's all he has to do. Fantastic jab. That's all he has to do. He doesn't have to get involved. He doesn't have to go and try and knock people out. The knockouts will come. He's naturally heavy-handed. Yeah. He's such a good boxer. He'll find the opening. Remember, cleverly said it was like a sledgehammer. Yeah. It, when a boxer says that, it's like punch. bloody. It's like a sledgehammer. He can clearly punch. So I don't know. <sighs> It'll be one of the biggest upsets in British boxing. The British boxer going away. One thing. That, years. One thing that I, I think is a is something of a double-edged sword, and I think people. There are going to be people who don't like Anthony Yard, don't like Tony Jai, and mm. whatever happens, they're not going to be happy, yeah. regardless. Mm. And if Anthony Yard goes out there and knocks out Sir Kovalev, I'm sorry. It's an amazing it's win. Ridiculous. There is nothing to. There don't is tell nothing me Kovalev's old. I don't want to hear any of that. No. On the flip side, if Anthony Joshua goes out, uh, Anthony Joshua, Anthony Yard goes out there and gets ironed out in two rounds, <laughs> or goes out there and takes a, a sustained beating for mm. eight or nine rounds and is then stopped and is never the same fighter again mm. afterwards. The people who have put him in that position or have negotiated or, or worked him into a position where they think, yes, you can go from fighting Travis Reeves at the Royal Albert Hall to going to fight Sergo Kovalev in Russia, then you have to have a look at yourself and think, Agreed. was that the right thing for me to do? You can't have it both ways. I agree. He can't go over there and if he wins, it's a phenomenal win. But if he goes over there and gets you know, beat up and stopped mm. and embarrassed... Mm. It can't be, oh, well, you know, at least he tried. Well, no, 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 you've got a... a Dude, a, I can't lie to you. I hate these roots. I, I mean, I am such a traditionalist in terms of British, Commonwealth, European, world level, so I know where you are. Just the idea the of these regular belts then jumping you to where he is now, international belts, I can't take it. And that's the problem. I remember speaking to somebody... Um, Conor Ben's another one. Conor Ben, I think, is number five or something. Yeah, exactly. WBA or WBA. W -W 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 -A. Yeah, and I'm like, what? Well, the international title. It's I a couple speaking, of fights away. From I spoke to Eddie about this in an interview, and I said, well, like, again... Use, I know the answer to this question, but people are asking about it. So you, you say it's ready, like, you know, people are looking at Conor Bennett at number five of the WBA. They say he shouldn't be ranked there. Is he in line for a world title shot anytime soon? The answer is, of course not. Yeah. But you have to ask that question. You've got to ask that question. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie would turn around and said, and did turn around and say in that interview, like, you know, you have the WBA, you have all of these governing bodies who are having pressure put on them by promoters mm. who have great relationships with them. People look at... I'm not saying that it does exist, but people look at Al Heyman with the WBC. People look at Frank Warren and Bob Aaron with the WBO. People look at Eddie Holm with the WBA. And they look at favouritism and, and, and accuse or allege favouritism in, in those instances. So you've got promoters putting pressure on these these sanctioning bodies mm. to put these belts on the line because it looks great. It's it looks great fantastic. for the profile. Yeah. But then when the you get into so. the top five, top three, top four, top Sorry. five which is kind of, I think, what we've seen with, with Anthony Yard, then where'd you go? Yeah. I mean, the, the, the story that we had from Anthony Yard and, well, not necessarily Anthony Yard, but from Tundi Jai is that 
you know, we're, we're past domestic level. We don't, we don't need to fight at domestic level. Okay, go and fight Sergei Kovalev. But then people, he goes and fights Sergei Kovalev and people say, well, you're not ready for that. Yeah. So it's like, you kind of, if you go down those routes where you pick up these lofty rankings with such, such little experience, then you're kind of fucked either way. Yeah. If you go back down and fight at British level and you lose, then what the fuck are you doing? You're yeah. number one with the WBO. Why are you fighting Jose Burton? I, mean, I guess it's, it's all about the money and he's going to what, clean $4 million. That's what it's about. Yeah, isn't it? and he's going to get paid very, very well and providing he, I mean, providing he, if, if he, if he, he loses goes, yes. and he loses well, Just which is awful, say. then $4 million and losing in Russia is no shame. Yeah, to see if he gets it. smashed to pieces by that puncher, then, then I'm then sorry, someone's you, got to ask questions about the answer. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And I, I think, again, this is where I feel like people draw their lines in boxing and you're mm. either one side or the other and you either think... Uh, I hate that, by the yeah, way. Yeah. I hate when I do videos and they're Fury fans and Joshua fans it's and this. You can be fans of both, you can be fans of neither. Simple. But like, or my preference is just be a fan of boxing and kind of taking each individual yeah. thing as how you it's feel like about football. it. Yeah, don't feel yeah. like a... Yeah, exactly. It's not yeah. football. You don't have to... Like we're Chelsea and Liverpool right yeah, now, people. Do you know what I mean? Right. I'm not going to brag about Liverpool. This isn't that, is it? But you can't... You can't... You can't nail your flag to the mast, so to speak, purely because can't. you like Joshua or yeah, you like so, yeah. Eddie and you don't yeah. like Frank. And, you I know, can't stand it. Like, you, you're going to see it now with the Billy Joe Saunders stuff. The yeah. same people who were slating Billy Joe Saunders when no, he was over they, at Frank. They've already come over. Exactly. No. And, you know, it, there's nothing you can do to stop that. But with, with regards to, to Yard, Kovalev or, or Yard and Tundi, you know, people have to give them credit for first of all he needs credit for taking the fight Absolutely. I mean I six months ago said he's never going to take it I, I said if he's going to take it the fight's going to be in London he's never going to go to Russia I mean it was going to be at the Emirates right that was going to be the <laughs> <Yeah, same. laughs> I remember telling him that and I was like yeah I think he went to the training ground yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, but, but like who's to say that you know he goes if, if he goes over there, if Ancelot goes over there, there and chins Sergei Kovalev I'm telling you that if he where does, does he rank in the annals of biggest names in British boxing pretty high you take, five. you take the heavyweights Top out five. there, Top and he's five. he becomes a bigger name, I believe, than Josh Warrington. Easy. He becomes a bigger name. Would you not? Would you not say so? Given the commercial push that he's got, and the big, like, he, he, he added us as well, hasn't he? He's got. Well, I, I heard that Josh once or twice that he was a global ambassador for Adidas. Yeah, he's real. Though? <laughs> is he I real? don't know. It's well, not, that's that's not mean, my area. They said he's up there with Messi. I'm like, really? I don't yeah, know. I'm, 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 that's not my. Right, area. Well, it's a bigger than Josh. You think? I, I think Pote- potentially. potentially, certainly, potentially. But I mean, oh yeah, from a commercial on a, on a worldwide scale as well. Like, yeah. Goes out going away and not in a comment. Yeah, Kovalev is still one of the biggest names in the sport. Andre Ward possible the other day. So this is one of the biggest names in the sport. Kovalev. I mean, he's so you take away Joshua, you take away Dillian. Fury. Yeah, Fury. And then... But then you kind of... I mean, the, it might, you're bigger than Kevin Smith. Carl Frampton is probably he's in, in the, that bracket. Or maybe he's not the fighter he once was. Yeah. Maybe for... If he's listening, but... but, but potentially... To, I mean, think Andy could be as big as all of them. Potentially, he's a good-looking guy as well. Yeah, he's got exactly. to talk. He, he knows can what he's talk. doing. He's different. He's, he's got a manager that's like a promoter. They, they, yeah. they don't. They Eddie do will be looking at that way. contract, by the way. Ten you now. He goes over. People him. were saying that like, Eddie will be looking at that contract. I'm telling you. People were saying that in the interview that um, Andy did with him. Yeah. Eddie was was. He actually promoted it more than Frank did. He did. He actually spoke more about this fight than Frank has. Well, done. like again, it comes back to kind of if you ask Eddie a question, he'll answer. Yeah. Um, Eddie likes it. His, inten- yeah, Eddie knows he likes his it. intentions, uh, only he knows his <laughs> intentions.